What's cooking money and life movement? JJ Ramos here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to YouTube. And welcome again to Advocacy Friday. So we're going to think we're going to talk about first the blog post I'm going to feature here. It's from my own blog. And after the sponsor break, the objection of the week. Now, if there is a sponsor break, right? I do not want to waste your time because it is the holiday season. <laughs> But, well, let me think about it. But first, our featured blog post. The title is The Show Must Go On. To keep you up to speed, you link in the description below. Now, it's quite a... Uh, <clears throat> my gut was wrenching actually when I, when I was writing this blog post because my, uh, my dad just passed away. And uh, we're nagdadalamhati pa kami. I think I wrote this one week after he, uh, after he, after he passed. Okay. Um. Yeah, we were. Uh, the, the whole family is the whole Ramos family actually is lamenting, was lamenting, and right there in the, right there uh, as I was writing this post actually. That's when I decided to get on with my life, All right? Hindi ko na pinatagal yung pagdadalamhati ko. My my mother objected slightly, but she knows she knows she can't stop me from getting on with my own personal life. So that's that's when I decided. Okay, after uh, after reading after reading after writing this blog post, that's when I decided. Uh, seriously to <clears throat> to get back on track so unang aspect ng buhay kong inuna ang unang aspect ng buhay ko na inuna ko was of course my business my network marketing business so I immediately contacted my uh, my upline he even asked me uh, JG okay lang ba kasi eh, kamamatay na ng father mo I told him okay lang bro Let's, ano, let's talk. So, schedule ako ng meeting with him. And we discussed, uh, we discussed plans, goals, at saka yung on what to, on what to do first. Sponsoring ba or product sales. So, I got that, I got that restarted. Now, for my personal life. Alright. So, um, a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament, of course, the uh, <clears throat> a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament was coming up. I joined. So that's how I uh, that's how I got back got back to my life after um, after losing my dad. Okay. Now, fast forward. Actually, that's all. I, I already fast forwarded. <laughs> Actually, I already fast forwarded. Okay. I would do the same thing, all right? I would do the same thing because for me, I wouldn't let my own sorrow eat me alive. Okay, that's the lesson I learned from uh, from my father's death. That's one of the lessons I've learned from my father's death. Wagong patagalin yung sorrow mo, your sadness, because. Sadness is one of sadness and sorrow are those feelings that can eat you alive slowly. It's like a cancer, all right? It's like a cancer. So that's one lesson I learned from uh, from my dad's passing. Yang untitled it. The show must go on. Okay, that's why it's titled that way. I had to get on. I had to get back. On track with my own life for my own sake for my own sake I'm sure my my dad's gone right all the more reason I should get back on my two feet right? so that's about that's practically it that's my that's my updated take on my blog post on to the objection of the week but first 
a uh, quick word from our sponsors. Hi guys. I'd like to uh, pitch this product to you. Spartan hands, zero messiness, all natural ingredients. Pakit ako sa'yo. No mess. Compared to the other hand sanitizers, hindi ito messy. Alright? The sanitizer itself is uh, evenly distributed because it's spray time, right? <clears throat> white tea and uh, what <laughs> white tea and ginger on the scent, very manly. May bago sa lalaki. Now there are other there are other scents to choose from. If you want yours, okay? but let me tell you again, Spartan Hands is the best hand sanitizer on the go. Okay. The best on-the-go hand sanitizer right now, and I and I'm not saying uh, because uh, I'm I'm one of their ambassadors, but as a user, okay, as a user. Now again, if you want this, if you want your own, uh, what's called this, your own Spartan hand hand sanitizer, all you have to do is click the link. Click the relevant link below to order and use my code money and life 10. It's in the subtitles already. Copy that, copy that code so that you can get 10% off your order. Actually, you can use my code to get 10% off of any order. Alright? Any order, any item. Kasi hindi lang ito ang, hindi lang ito ang produkto nila. But I chose this because. So, I repeat it again. Spartan hands, money in life 10 for 10% off. Mm, okay, sponsors are done. Let's get on with the objection of the week. The objection of the week is. My drum roll is so pathetic these days. I don't have time. Okay. Now, hmm? remember to think big when it comes to objections. Okay. <clears throat> this objection I have encountered more times than I can count. Okay. Uh, as a network marketer. Okay. I say, hey, well. Aminin nyo man o hindi, oras ang kalaban natin. Pero hindi. Oh, I'm being negative again. Oras ang... Uh, uh, what you call this? Ang... Um, issue. Okay? Oras ang issue natin parate when it comes to network marketing. Most especially if you're going to start one. Most especially if you're going to start a network marketing venture. Now, <clears throat> I look back when I was when I was in my when I was siguro, two or three years into network marketing, pag sinabi ng prospect that I don't have that he or she doesn't have time for it, I would let it slide. Ah, okay, sige, hindi nila ako ng referral. <laughs> you only ask for referrals if you have well if you have fully presented the business or you've um, done everything. If you've done everything to uh, to to have them sign in, to have them sign up under you, so I would let it slide. But fast forward now, I would I would have done it this way. Kung yari lalaki ang prospect, <clears throat> eh kung yari uh, amang anak ko, kani pinsan ko, pinsan. What's it going to take for me to? Uh, what's it going to take for you to? Well, to fit 
to fit this network marketing business into your schedule? What's it going to take? Again, the what's it going to take rebuttal. Okay? It's so powerful, so easy to use, and it's not going to put you into justification mode. Right? It's not going to put you into justification mode. Remember, mm, 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 mm. always think big. Always think long term when rebutting objections. Right? So that's what I that's what I would do. I would ask the prospect, what's it going to take for that prospect to to have this have this uh, business opportunity fit into their schedule? I'm not going to tell them na, oh, you could do this part-time. <clears throat> Kahit mag-weekend warrior lang tayo. Kahit mag-weekend warrior lang tayo. Pre, o, oh, oh, pinsan, o, oh, kamag-anak. I wouldn't tell them that anymore. I don't, I don't actually give a shit about their schedule. <laughs> okay? But, to be professional and subtle, that's what I'm going to ask them. What's it going to take? Ngayon, if you're the prospect. What's it going to take for you to, to fit this business opportunity to your schedule? I would let them talk. Shut up muna ako. Shut up ka muna. Right? Let the prospect talk. Jot down notes if you have to. Very important. Okay? In rebutting objections, oh, when it comes to objections overall, write them down. Okay? Write them down. Then, after writing it down, study it. Study it for three sec. Give yourself a three-second window to study it. Then, give your rebuttal. All right? <clears throat> because more often than not, the prospect himself or herself will give you the answer. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to shove it down his throat. You don't have to shove the pro. You don't have to shove it down the prospect's throat. Okay? That's totally unethical. That's totally unprofessional. <clears throat> Let them talk. Kasi oras nila ang oras nila ang issue dito eh. Sinabi nila, I don't have time. It's their time that's the issue, not yours. Okay? So the what's it gonna take rebuttal will be perfect for this. Right? Again, if someone tells you, if a prospect tells you that he or she doesn't have time, rebut with What's it gonna take? What's it gonna take for that prospect to fit this business opportunity to their schedule? Musasalita yan. Alright? Musasalita yan. He has to answer that. He has to answer that question. He has to answer that. It's in our nature to answer such, uh, to answer such questions. Well, that's the objection of the week. Now, it's not yet the end of the episode. I still have to give you the SOP. Yeah. See that little logo there? Hit that to subscribe. Hit the bell. And comment with done. Okay? So that you won't miss out and stay in the loop when it comes to my channel. Not just for this, not just for the show, but for the entire channel. Okay? <clears throat> Well, this is the final episode uh, of Advocacy Friday for 2019. I hope you had a great Christmas. And well, advance Happy New Year to all of you. So, thank you all for sticking out with me for the past uh, eight episodes. And I'll see you next year in the next episode. Agasamuli at malig. At manigong bagong taon, money and life movement. <laughs>